Das war jetzt so eine. Hi guys! Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel. I'm Megan. I'm Dwayne. And we are the Blended Family Marriage Coaches. That's who we are and what we do. We're so glad you joined us today. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and like this video. We would be so honored and it would really help our ratings on YouTube out a ton if you guys wanted to do that. We are, we are going to talk about dates today. Yay! I love date night. I so look forward to it. We've been doing a lot of date days recently right. just because, like everybody else, COVID has thrown right. off our routines big time. <laughs> We've been having a ton of fun doing that. We're going to talk about some ideas and some something fun that we did as a date day, and you guys are going to see that. We vlogged a lot of that, so you guys are going to see that today. But first, we're going to talk about some things what not to do on a date. Not to do. Not to do on a date. This is almost just as important as what to do on a date. Correct. What not to do on a date can help Correct. you avoid conflict or really so many people just end up fighting on date night. How many people can relate? You hire the babysitter, you get dressed up, you put on makeup. I didn't for this date, so don't judge. <laughs> you put on makeup, you get all ready, you've been planning it, you guys budgeted it, right. and then you spend the entire time fighting. Or worse yet, right. not talking right. at all. Yeah, don't do that. There are some topics that are off limit on your date. Number one, the kids. Correct. What we hear so often from blended family marriages is one of their biggest complaints is different parenting styles. Right. This can become such a source of contention, such a source of conflict. So avoid that. Just don't even talk about the kids. You guys, whether you like it or not, you have a life outside of your children. Right. And your kids will be okay with that. I right. promise they'll be better for it. Mm -hmm. Knowing that mom and dad are strong, they have a life that doesn't revolve around them. Right. They will be so much better for it. So don't talk about the kids on date night. You talk about them probably 24-7 every <laughs> other breath that you take. Right. Date night kids are off limit. And while we're on that subject, so are the co-parents or the ex-spouses. Off limits. Don't even talk about it. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a, a ceasefire moment. One of those moments where, you know what, date night we just don't talk about this. There can be such contention around ex-spouses or co-parenting relationships. Don't even go there. Right. You don't have to go there. You don't have to talk about your exes during that time of coming together on date nights. We do encourage you guys to have good co-parenting relationships. Mm, right. We do encourage you guys to communicate with each other about those co-parenting relationships, just not on date night. Correct. We put together a list of different topics, different questions to ask each other to get the conversation started on date night. Right. Acceptable topics. Right. <laughs> They'll be in the description below. Mm -hmm. Check it out. It's literally just like a, hey, this is a good starting point for a conversation. It's not like a checklist. Okay. We talked about that. We talked about that. Right. It's a starting point for right. healthy, strong conversations during your date night. Another thing that you're not supposed to talk about on date night is money. Money. Money is such an important topic. Right. I encourage you guys to budget together, to sit down and have mm -hmm. those conversations. Absolutely do that. But don't talk about money on date nights. Right. That is totally off topic. If you guys cannot budget a date night into your budget. We have a ton of ideas for free or low cost date nights. Mm -hmm. We've done videos on those. You can check them out by here or here or here. I love putting those over his face. Check out those videos. You know, coincidence or not, we started our YouTube channel right after the COVID crisis hit. Right. So we have been getting really creative with our date nights. We don't spend a lot of money on date nights normally, even when we are allowed to go out. Right. So we will have some better ideas and better topics for you guys after this. But in the meantime, we've done a ton of fun things for date nights that I would love for you guys to check out some of those previous videos. So today, for our date day today, I'm so excited. I joined a cookie of the month club. You guys, I met the woman that started this through a company that we were involved in years ago, and I absolutely adore her. I love her passion and what she does with these cookies and the, the cause that th these cookies support. So I jumped right on board. I think I was her number three customer in this cookie club, <laughs> which is so exciting, you guys. I was so excited excited to get our very first cookie package. I will show you what's in it later on in this video. I right. promise you guys don't want to miss that. This is not sponsored. I am not a sponsor at all. I am not being paid for this. I just love her and I'm so excited to do this with right. our cookies. And 
I had this plan way before I thought that we would vlog about it. <laughs> so if you guys want more information on joining the Cookie of the Month Club, I will put all of those details in the description below. Absolutely. Get a hold of Dawn. Tell her Megan sent you. I won't get anything for it, but you guys will love it and you guys will be so excited. So we got our very first packet and today is turning into a competition. <laughs> I am probably the most competitive person you will ever meet and I turn everything into a competition. We live really close to Lake Tahoe and whenever we drive up to Lake Tahoe, whoever sees the lake first wins and it's always me. Not always. <laughs> like maybe 99 out of 100 times. Our road trips turn into competitions. <laughs> Ask any one of our children what it means when I say all of your cows are dead. I am telling you, I, I am the most competitive person. So we are doing a cookie competition. Who can decorate the best cookie. We had baked them. We cut them out. We did everything like his and hers. I cut the dough literally in half. Yep. We split it. I am so excited for you guys to see this. So you guys have to vote. Comment below who you think has the best cookie, Megan or Dwayne. Megan. Dwayne. Always Megan, please. Comment below who you think did the best job right. with the cookies. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. I hope that you enjoy our date night. Again, don't forget to look in the description below to get your free guide to what to talk about during your date nights. And if you want to join the Cookie of the Month Club with us, and we would love to see your videos of you guys oh, doing it. That would be fun. <laughs> Please go, go check out Don's information down below as well. Get a hold of her so that way you can become a part of the Cookie of the Month Club. Okay, so it's been a <laughs> long time since you guys have been in our kitchen for our date night. Right. So like I said in the introduction, we are entering the Cookie Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I have the dough. We're going to cut it in half, and then Dwayne's going to get half, and I'm going to get half. He's going to roll out half. I'm going to roll out half. We're going to go into competition mode. I am very competitive, and he's not, and it makes it so funny. I didn't know that we were competing against... I thought you were competing against others, not against me. Oh, no, it's you. I have no other competition. Who else am I going to compete against? This happens every time she does something. She just, like, throws them in. I didn't even have no idea. So here we go. So I'm going to give half the dough to him, and he's get, I'm going to get half, and he's going to get half. Tonight, we are going to roll them out, and we're going to cut them, and then we're going to bake them. So that way, they're ready to frost in the morning. This is like all-out competition. <laughs> you guys, I'm afraid it's too thick, and I just asked Dwayne his opinion, and he won't even tell me because he says it's a competition. She said it was a competition. Oh, look how thin his is. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, the first batch is going in the oven. These on the... On the left, these here are all mine and these are all Dwayne's. Mine are a little bit thicker and I obviously use more flour. But look at our workspace, you guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he had like this perfect little thing. These are all mine and he had like this perfect little layout. It looks perfect. Excuse the mess, you guys. I just wanted to show you how cool this is, what came in our little package for the cookie thing, the cookie club. So we got these really cool little um, coloring for the icing. You guys will see what that's going to do later. I got this awesome prayer card. How cool is that? And because I was one of the founding 50, she gave me this. I am so excited about this. So we made our icing. Here it is. And we're going to separate. We separated it in bowls for separate colors. My kitchen is a disaster. So the competition continues, you guys. It's now the next day we've let our cookies cool and now we are icing. I have no idea what I'm doing, but the competition is on. So Dwayne, how's it going? Um, okay. Still feeling as confident as the winner? Of course. Uh-huh. Why would I not be confident? That's the question. Well, you were just talking that one of the flowers looked really good, but the white didn't look so good. Okay, guys, our kitchen is effectively destroyed. Dwayne did send pretty good at cleaning up as we went, which he always does, <laughs> but still it's pretty messy in here. And my hands hurt. Do your hands my, hurt? My, yeah, definitely. But I am so excited about the outcome. We need judges though. Let me go grab them. We're gonna pick our favorite of the cookies that we're gonna show you. Okay, I raised you guys a little bit so that you can I won't cut off my the top of my <laughs> head. So here we go. Look. So we have to now get the cookies. We'll there now get the cookies. Aren't they cute though, you guys? Aren't they cute? <laughs> Let us know in the comments whose is your favorite. Mine. Mine. <laughs> 
Let us know in the comments who what, who wins. We really need to know. You guys have no idea how competitive we are. So we really, <laughs> seriously, yeah, we, we need to know. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Welcome back to our kitchen. You haven't been in here in a while. I hope that you enjoyed our tips for date nights and I hope that you guys get creative too. Let us know in the comments of some creative things right. that you do. Mm -hmm. If you wanna join Don's Cookie Club, I would love that if you wanted to. If you guys like this video and want to see more like it, make sure to give us a thumbs up and leave something in the comments. Right. Don't forget to subscribe and ding dong, ring the bell because that'll let you know every single time that we post one of our tips or tricks, one of our date nights, one of our thoughts, something like that. That'll just let you know. Thanks again for coming. Thanks Bye everyone. guys. See ya.